right, so Lil Wayne has been on a tangent with the Super Bowl crisis, okay? Now, we could go back to when it was announced that Kendrick Lamar would be performing at the 2025 Super Bowl. Now, it wasn't bad enough that amid the Drake battle that Kendrick Lamar got that as well. And now you have Lil Wayne and Drake being combined. I'm just giving you the backstory. Lil Wayne and Drake being combined, them not giving it to Drake. Allegations that they never asked Drake to do it. Allegations that Jay-Z did it to just spite Drake. Allegations that Kendrick was going to try to bring out Lil Wayne to spite Drake in New Orleans. All of that, no proof or evidence to be true. Not even any evidence to prove that Jay-Z had a pick in who performs at the Super Bowl. Now, so you have Lil Wayne, who's still on a press run, talking about not being able to perform at the Super Bowl. Now, even if we go back, Lil Wayne, a few months ago, in September maybe, was talking about how hurt he is about not getting the opportunity to perform at the Super Bowl. When the Super Bowl has came to New Orleans multiple times already. Your, your words turn into to arms and... And held me up when when I try to fall back. Um, that hurt. Hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about. It hurt a whole lot. Um, I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown and for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that. But I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that 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 spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And um so it hurt. I hurt a whole lot. Um but y'all y'all are fucking amazing. Now, let me explain to y'all why that is a little bit unjustified or unjustifiable. Because, for one, he's entitling himself to perform at the Super Bowl because it is in New Orleans, right? And now they're trying to make it seem like this narrative that is Jay-Z's fault for cock blocking. That's why Nicki came out. That's why Birdman came out. But people seem to forget when he was all with Jay-Z because Jay-Z helped him pay his taxes. When Birdman wouldn't pay him the money that he owed him when he owed him millions and millions of dollars. And Jay-Z was the one who helped him pay his taxes. And Lil Wayne is on record saying, shout out to my good friend Jay-Z. So when this narrative is still being prolonged and Lil Wheezy just had Wheezy Mania where they actually gave him the, the key to New Orleans. He's still going on rants about the Super Bowl almost two months later. And I'm having a hard time understanding why. Because it doesn't make any sense to still keep prolonging this situation. That moment I said to myself, I want to be on stage for the Super Bowl one day in front of my mom. And I worked my ass off to get that fucking position and it was ripped away from me. But this motherfucking moment right here... <laughs> They can't take that, man. They can't take that from me. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for yourself for being amazing. Music. And so if there was a level of petty that I believe Drake learned it from, it had to be Lil Wayne. Because he then, after doing all of that, ranting about the Super Bowl, he then goes to play his famous song with Jay-Z, Mr. Carter. Hey, Mr. Carter. Tell me where you been. They've been asking. They've been searching. Oh, yeah. I mean, Amazon Music, Wheezy Mania 2024. They give him his own festival. The Hot Boys reunited 20 years. And they're still talking about the Super Bowl. Now, when you think about who is a better performer, entertainer, it's obviously Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar for a while. I believe Worldwide Steppers was one of the highest grossing tours for a while. And Drake just passed it. If I'm not mistaken, Drake said he didn't want to do the Super Bowl. He didn't care to do it. When you think about people who can perform at a high level, it's people like Kendrick Lamar. And as if 
that wasn't enough, they give Little Wayne the key to New Orleans. They give him the key to New Orleans, and he still is asking for more. generations to come for what you have done, what you are doing, and what you will can do. We'll continue to do on behalf of our city. Let's give it up. And now, let me present to you who has additional words, our very own entertainment ambassador of the city of New Orleans, son of the city, Master P. Now, they gave Lil Wayne his own day in New Orleans, and they gave him the key to the city. But what more do you want to ask for? The Super Bowl is an organization. Jay-Z was a little bit grimy for how he ended up in his relationship with the Super Bowl because he said um, when Colin Kaepernick took the kneel and he stood with Colin for a little bit, and he said, like, we boycott the Super Bowl or whatever, and then a few years later, he abandons Colin Kaepernick and he does a partnership with, sorry, not, he didn't abandon the Super Bowl. He abandoned Colin, he abandoned the NFL. He was protesting against the NFL, like, we stand in with Colin Kaepernick. Helped him out for a little bit. Then he landed a deal with the NFL and said, oh, we're past kneeling. So I don't know if y'all remember that time period when Jay-Z was first partnered with the NFL. And he said, we're past kneeling. As in, oh, yeah, and you know, we should look past kneeling. Because it's like, isn't it contradicting that? You said that, and now you're working with the NFL? Oh, we're past kneeling. We should move on and worry about something else. There's always been shady dealings happening forever, but this is business. Everybody's in the shady business, such in music. You got to remember, Birdman kept millions of dollars from Lil Wayne, and that's his damn daddy, essentially. So we still crying about this a year later. It makes no sense to me as of why. And I don't think this is anything to blame on Jay-Z. I don't think anybody should be blamed for this. The Super Bowl has come to New Orleans many, many times. They need to start asking the people of New Orleans and the people responsible for booking the Super Bowl why they didn't book Lil Wayne. I just think it's a little bit entitled that they're still going on rants and crying about this because he feels he should be entitled to perform at the Super Bowl. Remind you, the Super Bowl is bigger than just black people in New Orleans. You got to think about how many people from the city of New Orleans and with much respect to No Limit and what they've done to the, the New Orleans, period. Master P, Hot Boys, everybody, Cash Money Records. Big respect to New Orleans hip-hop. But the Super Bowl is bigger than that because that's a different audience. When we're talking Super Bowl, we're talking white people. We're talking old white people. We're talking young white people. We're talking middle-aged white women. We're talking young white. We're talking college kids. We love Lil Wayne for culture. And I'm not saying he's not a universal act, but right now, from a logistical standpoint, what makes sense for the most revenue generated? We know the Super Bowl halftime show is an important show. You're going to have to pick Kendrick Lamar. To me, I think this is all entitlement. I don't think this is something that should be still going on. I don't even think this is a question. People in the industry do have their shady thoughts about Jay-Z and calling it shady, but I don't think Jay-Z had anything really to do with this, especially being the fact that the CEO of Rock Nation is actually Desiree Perez. So you guys go look that up yourself. You let me know your thoughts about that. This is your boy Dre. I'm gone.